Hey guys, I'm Seth Ashworth. I'm here with the new Jackson Kayaks Nirvana to give you a few quick tips on how to improve your boof stroke. So you already know the goal of your boof stroke is to keep your bow high and carry speed out of a drop. Here's a few things you can do to improve that stroke that you're already doing. Tip number one is try and plan ahead for every single boof that you do. It's good to know coming into a rapid if you're going to go for an earlier boof or a later boof and whether a left stroke or a right stroke is going to set you up for success better. Let's check out this example of a boof which I did not plan very well. I took a right stroke instead of a left stroke on that first drop. And then I have to work really, really hard uh, to make it over to the safe zone to boof that second drop. Um, whereas if I'd just taken an easy left stroke instead and planned ahead better, uh, the move would have gone a lot more smoothly. Uh, and if we watch the second run of this drop, you'll see that left stroke goes way smoother. It's way easier for me to get over into the right position. Tip number two for our boof stroke is that a lot of the power for your boof is actually coming from your hips and your knees. Uh, just like if you sit on a chair, like imagine when you were in school and you try and pick your feet up and then hop the chair forwards, just uh, thrusting from your hips and picking up on your knees. Uh, your boof stroke is actually exactly the same motion as that. A lot of the way we pick our boat up is that forward drive uh, from our hips. And the goal is not to let your body come back but actually keep your body fairly centered and drive up from your hips and your knees. Third and final tip for today's video then is landing our boof. I'm always trying to land those boofs uh, onto my next paddle stroke so I can determine the boat's direction. I'm trying to land with my elbows down below my shoulders so that I'm in a fairly safe position and I'm not vulnerable to getting flipped over and, uh, and risking a hyperextension injury to my shoulders. There you have it, three quick ways to help improve your boof stroke. Try those out next time you're on the river. Let me know if they helped you out or not.